Yeah, hi there. Driven by Mars 8.94 is out and I just did a Bitwig video for that as well where you can see what is new for the generic Flexi and for the Launchpad. This is the same features as for Driven by Mars for the Reaper version. So watch also the Bitwig video to see that. In that video, I will only cover the specifics for the Reaper version. So what's new in the Reaper version? You get now access to all the different automation modes. So for example, here on the push, if you long press here, the automate button, you will now get also the Dream Read, the Latch Preview and uh, all the others who were there before. The same is for the Mackey control protocol and also via OSC you can control all the automation modes now with Reaper. So the second more interesting thing is that the user mode so far could not be used with Reaper because the thing is you cannot map functions like you can in Bitwig that you can just click somewhere and say okay I map it to my controller so I was not sure what to do with that mode but I stumbled into the possibility that you can control the track FX parameters as well and this is basically the same what is user parameters so how does it work if you have a track here in Reaper let's have a look here just put a synth, good old synth one on there and Valhalla delay nice pad sound and you can now say okay I would like to control the mix level and I would like to control here the filter and how do you do that you need to open up here the mixer and in the mixer you first need to check that show fx parameters when size permits is enabled so they turn up here now and here you can select any parameter you like from the plugins on that channel so for example we would like to say okay I want to have the filter frequency and I would like to have here the filter resonance and I would also like to control here the mix level for my delay and if you look now here on the device you see these three turned now up so let's check that out turn down the delay turn it up lots of delay also the filter So this works nicely and you can also have that for the different tracks. So all the parameters show up for the different tracks. Let's just duplicate the track. So you see we have that here. Let's get rid of that, rid of that and rid of that. You could also say there is the option to put everything in air so let's do it like this and you see also all of the stuff turned up now so you have all the parameters available to you if you want to go like this as well and as you see if you go back here to the first channel you will see only the settings for the first channel so i think pretty handy feature and yeah stay home stay safe and make some funky music